okay so let's go ahead and add the player teammates okay for now we just only have one teammate so let's just add the other teammates let's just duplicate this first one and let's rename this to player ai2 let's move him somewhere right there okay to that point let's double click here it is now in there let's delete this body of this player and for now let's add this body 4 ok from the military pack so drag and drop this body in there as you can see let's click on prefab unpack completely so then remove this animator component from the body and after this we need to add the muzzle spark effect so in the prefabs let's drag and drop this muzzle spark in there and then click on prefab and back completely let's make the start size 1 or let's make it 100 ok there it is let's make it 200 actually and now it looks good like that so click on prefab unpack completely now again click on player ai and drag and drop the middle spark effect right there and the other things are assigned by itself as you can see so this second player ai will simply kill this enemy okay so click on that player and drag and drop this enemy right there that's it now we have three player teammates including the player with it okay so now let's add a fourth one actually the player will have three teammates but with including the player it becomes four okay so let's name this one as player ai3 let's change the body of this player to something more let's select this one okay so let's try and drop the body in there recap unpack completely let's with the first one and then remove this animator controller let's expand this and in the atomic and mesh let's drag and drop the muzzle spark effect prefab unpack completely let's make the start size 200 that's it and then click on the main game object of the player ai drag and drop that and now this third player ai will now kill this fourth enemy okay so let's try and drop that in their box sorry not in the player character right here in the enemy body that's it okay so now we have different teammates let's select different teammates as you can see we need to increase the shooting radius of our player ais okay so let's make this 10 because our shooting radius was a little bit too small so our player ai can't reach the enemy and then the enemy killed our player ai okay in the previous video if you saw it so let's add all of these three in some main game object okay so let's create an empty game object let's move it this a little bit down there let's name this as player ai's or you can name this whatever you want let's try and drop that in there that's it this will be the spawn point of these enemies sorry the player ai's and actually by that let's change the spawn points of these player ai's as well so this first enemy spawn point will be this two okay which is that one 
and then this player ai2 spawn point will be this fifth one so let's try and drop that in there then select the third one and for this enemy sorry the player i don't know why i call them enemies okay we will add this third spawn point to the third player ai that's it now if we play the game it will now look really cool because now we have different player AIs as you can see they are running towards the enemies okay and you see it now there are the enemies and as you can see now they are killing the enemies as well so now so they are killing the enemies but if you noticed it they were not pointing towards their specific enemy and that is because we forgot to add the specific look point for the enemies okay so for example this player ai1 will kill this enemy 1 okay and this one will kill the enemy 2 so let's drag and drop the look point of this enemy 2 okay as you can see this one doesn't have the look point and let's check the third one the third one don't have the look point as well and the, this one as well and this enemy one doesn't have the shooting area they cast if we click on it that is inside the body of this enemy okay so we don't want this inside the body we want this outside of the body okay that's it now let's add look points to the enemies so if we click on that and then click on create empty let's create a look point enemy okay so that will be a look point for this enemy and this one for this one now let's create it for the third one as well look point enemy okay there it is let's create it for the fourth one as well so look point enemy so now the all of the enemies have the look points so this one is the look point added now let's add it to the second one this one will kill the second enemy so let's drag and drop the look point right there now let's select this one this one will kill the fourth enemy so let's drag and drop the look point in there okay so now they have the look point now this first enemy will kill the player ai1 so it has the look point added okay and now this player ai2 will kill the second enemy so now this second enemy will kill our player ai2 so let's drag and drop that in there and also make sure that we change the look point as well so let's drag and drop the second player ai look point right there and now this third one will kill the fourth enemy so this fourth enemy will kill the third player ai okay so drag and drop that in there and also drag and drop the look point as well right there that's it so now they will kill each other and one of the i think yes the third enemy ai will kill our player okay so now if we play the game Okay, now you will notice that they will kill each other and one enemy will come to us as you can see now they are killing each other as you can see this player AI killed that enemy and that one kills that enemy okay and as you can see there is the enemy which will kill us so let's kill him as well there he is dead and now as you can see they are fighting with each other 
let's kill this enemy okay so they are now killing each other and also let's make the enemies a little bit stronger so let's make the damage give damage of them as let's actually make two enemies let's increase their gift damage to six and gift damage to seven that's it so that the enemies can be stronger as well and then there are the player AIs which will give damage of five that is it so now we have the enemies then we have the player AIs which kill each other and also the enemies can kill us and we can kill the enemies as well so with all of this setup catch you guys in the next one